another day, another starbies. Do you guys watch? Oh my gosh, I don't know what her last name is, but Anna, you know Anna. She always goes, I don't want it. That girl, love her. She always gets Starbucks and then another day, another starbies. Anyway, hello. This is the first video I'm doing by myself. So low key, it's a little awkward. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do the best that I can, so please work with me. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, so I got a caramel, car can I not talk? Caramel brulee, caramel creme brulee, caramel brulee. What the heck is this drink called? You know exactly what I'm talking about though. Grande. Um, the holiday drinks from Starbucks are literally bomb. I tried the peppermint mocha and it was really good, but the caramel brulee is my absolute favorite so far. I just went to Target per usual. I love going to Target on my days off and just, even if I only have to get one thing, I just love going and like walking around and shopping like it's my alone time, you know? I like to just kind of decompress, have my me time. Um, yeah, so I, I met a friend today. If you live in the Dallas area, it, the restaurant is called Stir, S-T-I-R-R. -R. Actually in the Addison area, there's one in Dallas too. But uh, we went there for lunch and I got a buffalo chicken flatbread and it was so good. It was really spicy. I don't like, um, I don't like spicy things that much, but I had ranch with it. I'm from Ohio, so it, like you're from the Midwest, like I put ranch on everything. So I made sure I got a side of ranch and that was really, really good. And then I got this drink. I don't even know what it was called, honestly, but it was pretty good. So if you're in the area, definitely check out Stir. Uh, that was pretty cool. And then we went to the Galleria. So also, if you know the Galleria, if you've ever been to the Galleria, there's literally four floors. It's a mall. Um, there's four floors, which it's huge. It's insane. They have their big Christmas tree up. They have an ice skating rink and it was super cool. So we just walked around. So I also went to Old Navy today. I did a lot of shopping today. I'm like, I don't usually shop that much, but it was good. It's, it's, today's Monday. So happy Monday to me. Usually Mondays suck, but today's been really good. So um, let me take another Um, for fuel. I'm going to show you guys what I got. So, there's a car coming, so I'm just going to pretend like I am sitting here. I'm still new at this whole vlogging thing, and I get super uncomfortable when people are, like, nearby. So, Target. I, I, like I said, I didn't really get a lot, but um, I'm so excited about it. So, I've been needing scissors for a hot minute. So I just picked up some basic scissors. Um, I have been needing to get a notebook and if you're like me, you have probably a bajillion notebooks sitting around your room so you definitely don't need to get more. But there's just something about getting a fresh, cute, new notebook that just makes you feel so productive. Like, you know, you feel me? Just me? Okay. Um, so I found two super cute design so cute and I was like I don't know which one I should get so of course I just got both of them so the one I'm literally obsessed with it it says hear my goddess roar and then the future is female prepared to be amazed um strong female lead all this stuff like over and over and over again if you can see that and then this one it's freaking pink and it's pineapples like you can't tell me that you would not have gotten this too. Like pineapples are ugh, so so aesthetically pleasing. And then I just, of course, had to get some Christmas cards. So this one just has like a little Christmas tree, and then this one, um, tidings of comfort and joy. So I I really like to be intentional about writing Christmas cards to people. Uh, even like you know sometimes like you can't get everybody a present, but really just getting a Christmas card in the mail like it just. It makes you feel so good. You're like, oh, that person was thinking of me. Like they wanted, they took the time to sit down and write this for me. Like, and so I just love doing things like that. I love getting Christmas cards. And so I just really wanted to make sure I did that this year. And they weren't that expensive either. Oh, also I got like a crap ton of hangers because I've, I have been shopping for clothes um, more so lately than usual. And I've been running out of hangers. So I didn't get much from Old Navy either, but I spent under 30, which I think is a record because uh, usually at Old Navy I always spend like over 50, but usually it's over, over 100. <laughs> Sorry mom. 
Um, <laughs> but uh, so they had a couple good sales today. So I had to get some QT Christmas socks. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm obsessed with fuzzy socks. Okay, so like Texas Heat, um, it kind of makes it hard to wear like socks. Obviously, like I'm still wearing sandals right now, like my um, Burks. But like you're in the house, and like if it gets a little chilly at night, like plus honestly, like grin and bear it. Like I just want to feel the Christmas spirit, you know. So even if it is a little toasty, I'm just gonna put these on and I'm gonna enjoy myself. Oh, so the other thing I love about Old Navy is their pajama bottoms, but their shorts specifically. So, um, my absolute fave. So, these, so cute, just like some little shorts. Um, but I love sleeping in like big t-shirts. I don't ever really sleep in like a pajama set. So having the shorts to wear with it, and I always get hot at night. So, they're just comfortable and like, I don't feel like, you know, like I don't have a lot of clothes on me when I go to sleep, but I can be comfortable. Whatever. Anyway, does that make sense? I don't know. And then the last thing that I got, this was half off, which I thought was a steal. So it's like a, oh God, it's like the shirt that I'm wearing now. You, you kinda, but um, it's like a maroon burgundy kind of, it's a hoodie and it has this like super soft, like fuzz on the inside and then um you really cannot see this very well i apologize but and then the pockets and then the sleeves like it just looks like pairing this with a jean jacket and like leggings is my absolute favorite thing to do when it comes to like fall and winter so i was just super excited to get something that will be warm without all the layers So yeah, that is what I got today. Um, just a little mini haul. Get out, get to see the town. Obviously because of quarantine and COVID, it's been really hard to make friends since I've been down here. So I moved down here in July. And since then, I've just mostly been spending a lot of time with like family and working and that kind of thing. And so it it's just, it's hard to make friends anyway. Being like, I'm 22 years old, it's hard to make friends when you're like an adult. And so I just haven't really been able to like get out and like explore the city a whole lot. So I just went the friend that I went to lunch with today in the mall. She is actually a coworker. She works with me at La Force. Um, she's one of the photo booth techs and she was actually the one that trained me. So it was cool like getting to be intentional, go out and like actually grow that friendship a little bit, you know, and just getting to go out and like be with somebody my own age and not family. I love being able to do that. That's one of the things that I miss the most about this whole crazy thing right now. So I'm just super excited to be able to start going out and meeting more people my own age, being able to do a whole bunch of fun things. Dallas is, there's so many things to do in Dallas and so much to see and I'm super excited to eventually like get out and explore it all, try new restaurants, new activities and that kind of thing. So that was really cool to get to do that today. I don't have much else planned today. Mondays I usually use as my day off. The rest of the days during the week, um, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays, I watch my nephews and then all the nights I'll go delivering for Uber. And then depending on, I'll have like weddings on the weekends. So I like to use Mondays as like my days off um, to either relax or like do laundry, clean, all that nonsense. But you know, it's gotta get done so annoying I just well, hate it so I also wanted to um, use this video to kind of tell you a little bit about me and kind of why I wanted to start this YouTube channel and like what I hope to do with it so my name is Gina <laughs> I'm 22 I'm originally from Ohio I just moved down to Texas I know I already kind of said that but I moved it down in July I've lived in Ohio my entire life so this is kind of a big move for me it's kind of temporary right now. So I went to Malone for four years, Malone University, if you've ever heard of it. It's in Canton, Ohio, where the Hall of Fame is, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, that is. Um, but I went to Malone for four years, I graduated. I actually had an internship for a while, but because of COVID, you know, they couldn't hire me full time. And so I was just kind of taking some time off for myself for a couple months, kind of figuring out what I wanted to do. And my older brother, who lives down here, told me, you know, why don't you come down for a couple months, see how you like it, see if, you know, if you want to live down here, or if you don't like it, just go back, move back to Ohio, and that way you can say that you tried it out. 
So I decided to make the move, um, a temporary move, but so far I've, I've absolutely loved it. I really didn't know if I was going to or not because Texas is obviously a lot bigger than Ohio and I'm so used to very small town life. So um, it's, it's very different because it's obviously a lot more fast paced and busier and there's more people, but it's, it's great. I love it. And like I said already, like I'm super excited to get out and explore more and just see, see what all that there is. I feel like I haven't been able to really experience Dallas and all that it has to offer. So um, I'm excited to be able to do that. Me and my friends have always joked about starting a YouTube channel, you know, where, uh, I don't know if like other, other friends do this, but we're like, you know, we could easily start a YouTube channel. Like we're so funny. Um, <laughs> we could just put a camera up and just record ourselves and like we would be a hit, whatever. And I'm just, I'm super into that like creative aspect to things. So like editing. So I just thought it would be really cool to kind of get into trying to do a YouTube channel. I didn't really have any idea what all that entailed. I know it's a lot of work. And so I'm, I'm just really doing this for fun, just as a hobby, just to just give you guys a peek into my lives. Like, I love to do fun things. I love to get out and explore and um, try different things and almost to like motivation to get out and do more things because then I would have people to show it to, you know? I actually went on my first big vacation last year in October for my my best friend's birthday we went to New Orleans which if any of you have ever gone you know it is so beautiful it's amazing the culture the music the people like it is just incredible and so the whole time I was taking video knowing that I wanted to create like a travel type vlog however I didn't have a MacBook I didn't have iMovie I had no idea how to edit the video I just knew that someday I would figure it out either I would get a MacBook or I could get some type of program to do it a year later literally a whole year later I finally got a MacBook for my graduation present and I finally made that video so it's on my channel if you guys are interested in seeing it and I did the same thing for when I went up to visit for Ohio in the fall and when me and my friends went to Putin Bay um, I just wanted to take these videos and try to figure out how to make like create a video like create a little video a vlog whatever of the trip and it was so much fun getting to do that and getting to kind of mess around with how that stuff works so kind of through doing that I decided you know like I actually want to like do more stuff and that's kind of where the rest of the channel leads in that I want to try to do these vlogs I want to do recipes um I want to go and explore just tell you guys everything about my life um like get ready with me like just whatever I just want to sit down and talk make friends build community that kind of thing I'm all about building community making friends so that's just kind of what I want to use this channel for just to be a fun way to express myself um, build connections and yeah be creative I guess if that makes sense okay sorry about that my uh, friend called me and interrupted me so it's a little bit darker now because we just talked for a little bit and we were catching up anyway so that's pretty much what I am hoping for this YouTube channel, just a fun way for me to be creative and to build community and um, just to have fun, just a fun little hobby. Something fun too, I forgot to mention, I also started a blog before I started the YouTube channel. It's called The Variety Files and it's pretty much the same thing that I kind of want to use for the YouTube channel, just a variety of like things that I want to talk about. So. Um, I've done like movie reviews, I've done things that I've been interested in, uh, activities, things about me, that kind of thing. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. But yeah, so that's pretty much me in a nutshell. I think I've hit it all. If I, if I haven't and you have any other questions about me, um, put them in the comments below. I'd love to answer your questions. I think it'd be fun to do like a QA. and I know there is not that many of you, but maybe there will be someday and we can do a fun Q&A. And if you have any topic suggestions, think like video ideas, whatever that you would like to see, I would love if you suggest them and that I can try to do them. So yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> I think that's about it. I finished my <laughs> coffee while I was on the phone with my friends. So I am going to head home for the night. I think I'm going to put on my cute little cozy Christmas socks and my uh, Christmas pajama shorts and put on a Christmas movie, light some candles, and just kind of relax for the rest of my Monday. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. Uh, I feel like Winnie Simmons if you guys ever watched her. If you're interested in seeing more of my content, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I'd love to have you join me on my journey. <laughs> um, but that's all. So I'll see you guys in my next video.